All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of BSTV. This is Bianca and, and I'm Steve. So today we're going to do Joe Millionaire. Yeah. Episode five. Take Good us episode. through what happened. So everybody was going uh, to camp for love. I thought it was a pajama party by the pool yeah, on the no, previews. You were very wrong. Yeah. So they went camping and some people got to glamp, which is uh, a glamorous type of camping. And they had actual beds, well, beds raised you know like they had a bed in a tent yeah and then some of the girls who lost uh had to actually camp and they decided this with a tug of war yeah and it was actually really good and the two guys drafted the women like i want her i want her steven's team won they were obviously the stronger team well steven selected his ladies based on who he thought was good at tug of war and kurt selected them based on who he thought he might want to date yeah possibly yeah (laughs) and kurt lost so, Kurt, you need to really figure out what you want because I don't think you know what you want. Well, I know what he doesn't want. What does he not want? More whining from Caroline. Caroline. She is honestly annoying. I mean, you're really a cute girl, but you just, you have to let him live his life. And obviously you went on this reality show knowing that this guy was going to date so many other girls. You're not the end all be all because you're not at the end of the race right now. Yeah, so, so the drama all you are happens. Totally jealous because Amanda sits on his lap, yeah, and he has a connection with Amanda and Caroline. But Caroline thinks that they don't have a connection. Yeah, like, so Caroline pulls him, him, Kurt away to right. go cry to him about this, and then I liked how they were there such a long time that uh, Stephen actually came over and was like, "How dare you? Like, you know the scenario of this, and you're Good on Stephen, yeah, yeah, and you're like ruining the experience by putting these expectations on him that are not part of the show, which is to commit to one girl in week three, right? Like, obviously, if he wanted to do that, he would not be on the show, yeah." <laughs> So, anyways, it was another good episode. I liked it. Oh, actually, then Butler, the Butler came on. Martin, yeah. Was his name Martin? Mark could be. Yeah, and he even said, pulled him aside and said, "Listen, like you're doing everything right. Don't feel bad because Caroline is making him feel bad." Yeah. But you have to also realize that you come with a lot of baggage. I said this in another episode of ours. You know who else probably feels bad today? Who? Brianna. Hungover. Oh yeah, yeah. She was not doing good. That was actually yeah. She was very, very drunk all episode. Yeah, like fall. You know, can't walk straight. Called Kurt over to talk, but like can't really walk. Steven. Steven. So what do you? But they kept her. Yeah, they did. They obviously see something in her. I don't know, but what do you think? Like in comparison to The Bachelor, I do like the show better. I just feel like The Bachelor may take it somewhat more serious. Like, I feel like maybe we just don't see the connections that the guys are making because they have to divide the time by two. Like, do you actually think that they're going to find... I think The Bachelor is more full of itself. Okay, so... You know what I mean? Like, they have more, like... Like, Joe Millionaire wings it a bit more. Like, hey, let's go on this and see what happens. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm asking you, do you think that they're actually making strong connections, these guys, where you could actually potentially see them leave the show with somebody? Like, even on Bachelor in Paradise, I find that the connections that they made, the way they portray it, they make stronger connections. And, like, even still to this day, you have... Abigail and uh, what's that guy's um, Noah that are still together, Thomas and Becca and Joe and Serena. Garbage Joe, yeah. Yeah. Like, Grocery like, store Joe, not garbage yeah. man Joe. Yeah. Like, I mean, they still have strong connections. I don't know if, if Joel Millionaire is going in the direction with these two guys. So I think part of it's filming, and I think part of it is just that they wing it. Like, they don't have set dates, really, where you go and meet people. Or not as many. Like, every single episode on The Bachelor, you go on dates. There's a cocktail hour. Everyone gets a chance to talk to the person and make a connection. Where this is like, hey, go on a group date of 10, and people aren't good at that. So what are we projecting? Do we think that they're going to actually find somebody that they stick with? No. I say no as well. Yeah. But let's talk about the three girls who went home. Oh, So the one girl. Yeah. So the one girl, I don't remember her name. But she had the big hair, and she Suzette. in the uh, in the movie trailer premiere from the episode before, she was copying like, "Yeah, show me the guy with the money," mm. and she got sent home for that. Mm-hmm. And then who else got sent home? Katie, who's a travel blogger. Yeah, but not Caroline. No, and then the other one was. There's no one important, like the ones who oh, are. Oh, Andrea, Andrea. 
Oh yeah. The one that got um, the best actress award. Yes, yeah. yes. And then they get their right to hand off their one hour package so to somebody. Gold coin. Yeah. But we never saw her give it to anybody. Yes, she gave she it. She did? Yeah, she gave it to the girl, I forget her name. She's an attorney. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Monterey. I don't really remember many other names. I know Amanda. Um, oh yeah. She's the one who is caught in the trouble with Caroline. Yeah. And Kurt, because she sat yeah. on his lap. Yeah. yeah. So I like it, but I don't feel like, uh, like, I wouldn't care if I missed an episode. No, but I do like it better than The Bachelor, and I've said this. Cause really? I like Bachelor better. Bachelor's just on a down season because it's Clayton, but it's still a better show. Mm -hmm. Like, I, if I miss The Bachelor, like, I'll watch it the next day. Mm -hmm. This, I'd be like, yeah, I'll watch two episodes in a row next week. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, which, let us know what you guys think. If you think that they're actually going to end up with somebody, Stephen and Kurt, or if it's just all for fun. All right. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.